What's up, Zox fam? Now we're gonna be getting into the Esper Feud. This is our second time ever getting this in the game. And the Esper Feud usually brings around some fun, challenging content, as well as some goodies for us to be able to partake. So we're gonna go ahead and dive straight into it. Now, uh, it might look a little janky, but we are on the test server. So I just wanna kind of put that out there. Uh, but all in all, um, just to kind of start out with looking at the challenges, uh, we will have some videos coming for any of the challenges that might like be kind of hard to get through um so i will have a couple of things prepared for you guys uh with that uh now this all says normal but it's really supposed to say normal hard and purgatory um but the nice thing about how they have the um the esper fuse set up uh for those that don't know uh, is they have it set up to where it's going to automatically level 60 in your unit so i wanted to emphasize this on my fresh account none of these units are level 60 and none of them have these gear sets on so they do have some preset gear sets uh and you will see if you hold down on the unit uh it will have event trial relics on them and they will also then be max skilled up so you'll be able to fully take advantage of participating in this event with the current units that you have on your account so if you did pull some fairly good ones like I did on my account, we'll get into that in, the, in another video. Uh, but that's definitely going to be something super huge uh, for you to be able to take advantage of. Um, there is going to be rules to each difficulty, um, either, you know, from being the easiest to becoming a lot more difficult as you traverse down. Um, but that's pretty much that. It's nothing too out of the way with that, right? Now, when we're looking at the uh, Feud Glory, uh, this is going to be for collecting smart cards, which are going to be these stars along the way. Um, they're going to be allocating you this uh, resource right here, which is called the Relic Radix, which will allow you to be able to work on um, the free relics that we'll be able to also craft. So uh, again, this does look a little janky because it is on the test server, but I just want to put that out there, right? Uh, now, you will have some sign-in bonuses as well. Um, obviously, they're giving us more win attribute based stuff because this is going to be catering and giving you an opportunity if you get lucky to potentially pull the wind attune unit uh, that's currently up on one of those tickets uh, now the other thing is is and i would really say the biggest thing that's going to be coming with this event uh, is the fact that we will also have the flawless relic customization now the reason why this is so big is because this gives you an opportunity to be able to work on and create a relic of your choosing uh, with the current stats that you are looking for so since i'm on a fresh account i would say that one thing that no matter what account you're on um one thing that you're going to either really want is a speed piece or a crit damage piece one of the two is going to be super super nice to have on your account um, because those pieces are really really hard to come by um, especially when you're looking in terms of farming uh, so what i'm going to actually aim for here I'm gonna do a sort of avatar piece of the speed. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and select this piece right here. And then the attribute we're gonna do is speed. And then our second attributes, these, and this is where you'll start rolling, right? So it says accuracy, crit rate, HP bonus, defense bonus. What I would want ideally is obviously more speed. So I would hit the change button. It would give me some new roles. And if I don't like those roles, I can keep the one that I had prior to and then go from there. So I'm not going to pick up this one because I, I will say that this does have all percent base, uh, which is nice. Um, and then, of course, with the radiuses that I have, I would keep doing that until something else of my satisfaction would show up. No, that's not that's not good enough. That's not what I need. You know, so you would just keep on doing that until you find the piece that you want um, or until you run out, essentially. And then when you are ready, you will be able to just hit complete and you'll be able to keep that set piece. Right. Uh, so that's as simple as that for how this event works. They actually think I think they made this more efficient, actually. Um, now, the other thing is, is that another relic will also unlock in a day after this one starts. So you do have the opportunity to essentially get two relics of your choosing uh, to help you out within your progression. Um, again, these are giving you the opportunity to get a flawless relic of of uh, your choosing with the substats that you're able to roll with the radiuses. Um, there probably is going to be some packs that some people will probably be able to buy if they want to get more optimized uh, opportunities to be able to roll. But there should be a decent amount just for the free to play to take advantage of as well. So that's pretty much going to be the basis of this event. Let me know what you guys think. I'm super hyped for this. Uh, again, that's going to be that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.